Okay, the lower die 2 outer ring is given to you as a half section view. So again, anytime we see a section like this, it's a good idea to try and start it as a uh, portion and to revolve it around its center axis, which is what we're going to be doing. So if I look closely at it, I see uh, a couple of rectangles stacked up over here, one in the middle, and then another one over here on the side. And if I want to draw that out on Inventor, it might look something kind of like this, where again we always start with the origin. This is a little one. There's a bigger one. It's a tall, skinny one. And there's something over here somewhere. Trim out the extra bits. Okay, and now we can start dimensioning. This whole thing is one inch wide. So from this edge to this edge is one. Point two one nine up to the top of that. Going to the top of this next one is point four six nine. This little skinny distance here is 0 0.0625. And some of these dimensions we have to get from the other side of it. So this is the same as this height. It's 0 0.3125. This entire distance is 0 0.75. over from this edge to the top of this, which is the same thing as from here to here, is 0.219. And from this edge to this edge is 0.844. all of our dimensions. We do need, however, something to revolve it around. So let's make a line. Right click on it and make a new construction line. And we need the diameter for this. Oh, we're going to find the diameter. We need the radius. The diameter is 3.0625. Divide that by 2 to find the radius and revolve this shape around that axis. You'll have most of your work done for you. We do need to make this rectangular cutout. So let's make a new sketch here. Rectangle. I also want a vertical constraint with the midpoint of this and our origin so it's centered. And this is 1.5625. We're going to extrude this to cut it to this surface. And then to make these little notches here, we're going to click the expand next to origin, find the plane that cuts through the middle of our part, make a new sketch on that, hit F7 to slice our graphics, project the geometry, I do want to make sure that this is in the middle of the part. With this cut out, it's a little tricky. 
not too bad. Okay, that should be the middle. Looks like it comes over a distance of 0 0.016. So I'll zoom in real close here. Type in 0 0.016. And I'm making a little tiny triangle. Select line again. I'm going to make a line that's obviously off center, but then go back and use a horizontal constraint to find the midpoint and match it with this endpoint. So now my line is going to be the same. And going from end to end on that, it's going to be 0 0.031. And now I just need to connect these two together. And I can finish my sketch and extrude both directions to cut a distance of all. And what that's going to do is going to extend all the way out to both sides of the object cut that little notch in both faces at the same time. Unless I forget to hit OK. Alright, one more time. There's our notch, both directions, cut, distance, all. OK. There it is. And there's a fillet on both the top and bottom of 0 0.031 and I actually needed to do that before I put these little notches in and probably before I put this in place so let me teach you something new if you right click on something like an extrusion you can suppress the features they're not gone they're still there but we can do something like a fillet and 0 .031 is what size we would need it would make the most sense for them to do this kind of a manipulation before they make any cutouts. So we're going to take that and drag it before both of those extrusions. Then when we unsuppress them, it's cutting into it and we won't get the nasty errors of trying to make a fillet in a chunk that already has something missing. Okay, lower die to outer ring is made of steel. So right click here, my properties, physical, material, scroll down to steel, select OK, and save as lower die to outer ring. Right? double check. Lower die to outer ring. Yep. Save. 